couple things I wanted to say in this video. First one is, I tried to do a premiere earlier today, uh, episode two of For the Continuum Conversations, my quantum grammar talk show, where I had a special guest, Colin Pascal from Canada. But I guess during the premiere, it just kept looping the, the first three minutes over and over. I don't know why that happened. Uh, that's on YouTube. I had nothing to do with that. So, but you you are able to see the whole 50 minute video now if you want to since the premiere ended a while ago. So you can go ahead and go watch that. It's pretty cool. I just wanted to apologize for that. I am in contact with YouTube about it. And if you notice, I don't know if you can see this in the public or not. If you look at my YouTube channel status, you will see that there are zero copyright strikes on my channel. Yes, did you hear that right? Uh, colon Russell Heaven J Colon Gould and Colon Daria or whatever Rachel Rachel Prince. Did you hear that? There's zero YouTube strikes on my channel. So you can't use correct sentence structure against me because you don't know the grammar, and you can't use the fiction against me. You failed at that too. So <laughs> all that's left for me to do is to just laugh at uh, your futile efforts but you know keep trying keep trying you know it's always never give up never give up you know don't quit keep trying correctness will win so on to some other topics here I do reaction videos in my Coral Blade Grotto broadcast and yes to you beginner noobs out there I'm well aware that reaction is no contract, but I'm speaking in adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun right now. Okay, I'm using plain English for the ease of the communication. I'm here to use a language that you, I'm guessing, can cognize easily. Are you here to cognize me? Are you here to understand me or overstand or whatever word you choose to use? Are you here to listen to me and to get what I'm saying? Or are you here to create confusion or are you here to misunderstand me? You have to ask yourself that. Because I'm here to be clear. And I hope I am clear and as clear and concise as I can be. So I do these reaction videos and these audits on different websites, on different people's grammar. People that claim to have closure on the grammar or claim to have some sort of authority of the grammar. And I show that they quite obviously do not. I show the mistakes, I show the errors, and then I show how to correct correct the errors, because that's how you do a correct stop and correct. It's not enough to just tell someone that they're not correct. You have to offer them a solution to the problem. That's rule one rule equal, ladies and gentlemen. You got a problem, you got to present a solution. When you go and syntax a document, if you're going to tell someone that they're using incorrect grammar, then you yourself better offer up the correct grammar. You better show them how to do, the, do it correct. You better know how to do it correct, because if you don't, that's a violation of rule one rule equal. And that's just pretty much saying, do what I say because I say so. It's goofy. It's BS. You know it's both, uh, BS, and your children know that's BS. <laughs> So I know other websites such as Mark Lowercase K and Colin Russell hyphen J, they have specific pages with lists and lists of people that they've disqualified or <clears throat> are unauthorized or whatever word they want to use. They have that. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm just going to suggest to you, the viewer, but if you want to learn this stuff, of course I suggest that you be very open-minded. Nowhere have I ever said that this channel is the only place to learn quantum grammar. Nowhere have I ever said that I'm the only individual that knows how to do it. That I'm the authority of correct sentence structure. I've never said such a thing. I don't claim anything about the grammar other than the fact that I have closure on it for myself. I have such a depth of closure on it that I can teach it, and I have been teaching it for the last five years to hundreds of people. I have over 500 grammar videos on my grammar channel. 
I teach correct sentence structure. I have 100% closure on it. That's the only thing I claim, all right? I don't claim to be the authority. I claim to be an authority of my construct and my document contract postal vessel port venues. And I can teach you to do the same thing if you decide to learn the grammar. Now when I talk about pitfalls and landmines, what I'm doing is I'm making you the viewer aware of individuals that I know don't have closure on the grammar or at least show no evidence that they have closure on the grammar, but they're out here teaching it or advertising it or selling it as if they do. So it's sort of false advertising if you, if you want to put it that way. They're what I call in the fiction, all right? So the first one, quite obviously, colon mark hyphen lowercase k Kishon Christopher. There is no evidence that he has any closure on correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. As a matter of fact, when he talks about syntaxing, he's not talking about syntaxing, he's talking about parsing. He's very, very good at parse. He's very strong at parse. So, I mean, Meatloaf, <laughs> Meatloaf didn't have a hit with the song, one out of three ain't bad, it's two out of three ain't bad. And Mark has one out of three. I've seen no evidence that the guy knows how to syntax, and he certainly does not know how to create a correct sentence structure. At least there's no evidence of that on his website. So if you want to learn parse, you could probably learn it from Mark. But as far as the other two things, no. That's the first pitfall landmine. Just to be aware, to be cautious of it when you go over there. Again, if you're going to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, there are three elements to it. Correct sentence structure communication, parse, and syntax. Okay? You can find all three of those things represented and explicated on my channel in three playlists, which are appropriately titled Correct Sentence Structure, Parse, and Syntax. Just putting that out there. I put out a problem, I've put out a solution. So the next one, uh, main one, would be Colin Russell hyphen J Colin Gould. Nowhere have I seen any evidence that he has grammatical closure on his sentence structure. His syntaxing is not correct. He syntaxes tangible contract words as adverbs. He syntaxes non-tangible contract words as adjectives. He uses particles of negation in his facts. He uses incorrect positionals in his sentence structure. He uses vowels in front of the consonant in his facts. The list goes on. A plethora of mistakes all over his documents. Okay? So either he doesn't have closure on the grammar or he's doing it on purpose. My guess is it's the first one. And it takes a lot of humility to admit that you don't have closure on something when you've been claiming all these grandiose claims. Uh, but it is what it is. Again, that's another landmine and pitfall for you to be aware of can't say it, you weren't warned because I'm warning you right now and I've warned you other times it's your choice whether you want to participate with that type of malarkey I call it quantum gobbledygook all right the third one is kind of a small fry but there's a guy out there that uh, claims the same claims as Russell he claims to be some sort of postmaster general or something and his name is colon Jason hyphen Paul colon Greaves uh, and he has something called the Blue Thumb Club, I think it is. And I've seen no evidence that the guy knows how to syntax. His syntaxing is all, I mean, I've never seen anything like it. I don't know where he learned it from, but it's not correct. He does the same thing. He syntaxes tangible contract words as adverbs and non-tangible contract words as adjectives. Um, so, what I'll, the next thing I'll say is that on his website, the correct sentence structure is way better than Mark Sean Christopher's or Russell J. Gould's. All right, but it's still not 100% there. And his use of the colon is completely incorrect. So that's another one to be aware of. Now, if any, you know, if he has successes and things like that, that's cool. Um, wish him all the best. And what he does but here's the thing 
someone that claims to be a postmaster general or some kind of chief or whatever can completely 100% and entirely F off as far as I'm concerned because that violates rule one rule equal. What kind of individual wants that type of authority over other people? Who would want to be a commander or a chief or anything like that and have that type of control over people? What I do is I teach autonomy. Rule one, rule equal. No one's above anyone, no one's below anybody. Everyone's equal. That's why it's so important to get closure on the grammar so you can hold a position like that for yourself. And you and I will be equal on the geometric level playing field of contract. It's very simple. And also, whether it's Russell or Jason Paul Grievous or Mark Sean Christopher, whoever it is, if they're going to claim to be some sort of chief or general or mustard master or <laughs> whatever, postmaster genital, um, think about this. Who put them there? Are they just forcing everyone to accept them like that on their word or, or what? Think about it. All right, and did I already talk about Colin Leon, Colin Edwards? I can't remember if I did or not. Uh, but Colin Leon, Colin Edwards is a, an individual from Portugal that I've known him for some time. And they sell David Wynn Miller's book for 200 bucks a pop. Uh, they've been doing it for, for years, ever since David died. Maybe even before he died. I'm not sure. Uh, but they supposedly had da he supposedly had David's permission to sell the book. I, I don't really care about that. Um, as far as that goes, the book is incorrect. It's completely incorrect. Multitude of errors all over it. Um, what I do have a problem with is Leon selling it as if it's a place you can learn correct sentence structure. Because if you're going to learn correct sentence structure from that book, you're going to be in for a heap of trouble. That's another landmine, the book. Now, the book is useful for someone who does have closure on the grammar, just for general ideas on how to format templates and things like that. But the grammar is completely horrendous. Multitudes of errors all over it. And I put out videos showing certification of this. And again, you know, you're going to get people like, Jason, why are you doing that? Why are you criticizing? Why can't we all just get along and blah, 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 blah. It's almost like, you know, um, the people that participate with the, the fiction system or the legal system or whatever, the ones that, you know, the Democrats and the Republicans where the Democrats that voted for whoever they voted for and things don't get better, they get worse. But they're still loyal to their to their party and they well it's the only system we have so we might as well make the best of it it's like voting for the lesser of two evils how's voting for evil been working out for you and little known secret actually well known secret your vote doesn't matter and there's nothing you can do to prove that it does all right look up electoral college And it's the whole fiction system is just a sham anyways, but it's up to you if you want to participate with that. Of course, it's your choice. I'm not here to twist your arm to say otherwise, all right? What I'm here to tell you is just about these landmines, these uh, booby traps, these dangers, these, these sand pits, um, just to be aware of them so that you can make an informed choice. Like for example, I get people that trickle in from Russell J. Gould's neck of the woods, from Mark Sean Christopher's neck of the woods, where they say, you know, Jason, I can't believe how terrible um, Russell J. Gould treats his people, or I can't believe how terrible Russell J. Gould's teachers are. They call me stupid, or they don't know the answer to this question, and they kick me out because they asked a simple question. And things like that, you know, I mean, Russell kicks people that, is, that he's been close with out of, his, out of his construct just because they disagree with him <laughs> or question him. So that just tells you all you need to know about that. But I'm, I'm telling you, this is no secret. This is no secret. And a lot of those people, unfortunately, when they contact me, they want to learn the grammar. It almost seems as though they're too far gone to be able to open their mind to what autonomy really means. 
because they're still with the volition of trying to force other people to do things. We should, you know, put this stuff in the schools. We should force people to have to learn this. Why do you want to force anyone to do anything? Forcing someone to do something against their will is rape, okay? I would never force anyone to learn this grammar because that defeats the whole purpose. Remember the three principles. The position of peace neutrality, the balance of the honor and the grace, and the maintenance of the rule one rule equal. Be kind. Do no harm. Why would you want to force someone to learn this? This is what the fiction system does. It forces people to do things. So that's the long and short of it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this, this video has a positive conclusion on your psyche. Because I'm not here to badmouth anyone. What I'm trying to do is to sh uh, share with my subscriber base the pitfalls out there. I'm not telling you not to go to these people. I'm not telling you not to, that, that these people that I mentioned don't have things of value to share. I mean, you can find gold nuggets and piles of shit. I mean, it's been known to happen. I'm just trying to give you some information, some knowledge about this so that you can make your own choice as to how you want to learn this. And if you want to learn the grammar, and I mean just the grammar, period, then my channel is a great place to start. And if you'd like to do a workshop, well, I'll put up a little bit more of that at the end of the video here, explaining how you can do that. And it all starts with reaching out and contacting me at my email address. So thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoy your day. And... I'm really going to try and move away from doing these reaction videos and things like that, these negative things, because I'm taking the criticisms that I've heard from a few viewers to heart that I tended, seem to have been tending to focus too much on negative aspects of it, uh, showing fictitious conveyance of grammar from Russell J. Gould, Mark Schoen, Christopher, Jason Paul Grievous, and Leonardo Edwards, you know, I, you know, I'm not going to concentrate on that. I'm just going to move forward with doing other grammar videos, coming at the grammar from different angles, from fresh angles, do more of the talk show, having more guests, which, by the way, if you want to be a guest on my talk show, email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com if you have some interesting correct sentence structure stories to tell. And, oh, here's one that I would love. I've spoken with this man in the past, all right? He's actually reached out and contacted me. But he sort of disappeared and dropped off the map. So I'm just going to put this out there. Sergeant Robert Horton, if you're out there and you want to learn correct sentence structure, feel free to contact me. I know I've said in the past that I don't contract with people with, you know, warlike parties with warlike volition. But I don't think you have a warlike volition. I think you are an honorable man. I do. I really think that. Just looking at the video performances and watching you talk. I could be mistaken, but this is what I feel. This is what I think. So if you want to learn the grammar, that's my offer on the table for you. And I would love to have you as a guest on my podcast. So hit me up at the email address at the bottom of your screen, Sergeant, if you're interested in that. If you're even watching this, if you're even still around. Blessings. Happy holidays. Happy Easter to everybody. That about does it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like, and I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the Join button underneath this video there are two tiers of membership uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public once again thank you for watching uh, hit the subscribe button hit the like button turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis there are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here, you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again. 
and I'll see you in the next one.